I'm making this video to test out my new Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. I originally had an F1 crony and I broke that. Just took a 8mm Mauser round. So then I got a new F1 crony, and I just broke that one recently. So now I got the Caldwell chronograph, and I'm going to test it out and see how it works compared to my old F1 crony. One cool feature about it is this little thing on the side. Instead of just on and off, it has off feet per second and meters per second so you can change it to whichever one you want of course I'll be using feet per second and another feature I like about it more than the F1 is the screen is bigger so it's easier to read for me but one downside is when you turn it on it has that five second countdown while the F1 crony is just ready to go pretty much another bonus of the F1 crony is it folds up into a smaller package this one you have to keep open like this so it is a little bit more space consuming. But the main benefit of the Caldwell and the main reason I got it is that it's cheaper than the F1 Crony. I got this one for $70 off Amazon while the F1 Crony is more than $100. I believe it's $103 on Amazon. So I'm just going to run some 22 long rifle, 550 round federal bulk pack through the Caldwell and we'll see what they register at. I shot a couple of these through my old F1 crony and they came in around 1250 to 1300 feet per second. 1272. 1250. 1263. And 1252. So, so far with the 22s, it seems pretty in line with the F1 crony. Let's try something else. All right, now we're going to try the 223, and we'll start out with some Federal Bulk Pack 55 grain FMJs. These should register right around 3,100 feet per second. Let's find out. 3199. 32.41 So even those federal bulk pack are registering just like the F1 crony. Let's try some hand loads now. First up, 36 grain Barnes Varmint Grenade on 27 grains of H335. I have no idea what this should register at. I've never shot one through a chronograph before. I'm going to guess around 3,500 feet per second. <laughs> I was a little off. 37.95. Wow. And when I shot it, the chronograph rocked a little. Maybe I should be a little further back for those. Dang, so we got 3,800 feet per second on that varmint grenade. Now let's see what a 40 grain VMAX on 28 grains of H335 comes in at. This one I have ran through my F1 crony, and they came in right around 3,700 feet per second. Let's see what the Caldwell registers. I'm going to step a little bit back this time. And 37.30. Those are some smoking hot loads. And that shot rocked the crony also. So I'm liking the results so far. It reads pretty much exactly how my F1 would have, but at a cheaper price. Let's try one more thing. Alright, so the last thing we're going to test will be the 8mm Mauser. And we're going to shoot a hand-loaded Sierra 200 grain hollow point boat tail on about 48 grains of wind 748. And according to my F1 crony, these should be coming in right around 2,600 feet per second. Let's compare that to the Caldwell. Twenty-seven oh nine. Wow. That's a smoking hot 8 millimeter load. 200 grain bullet at 2,709 feet per second. I think that's more than 3,200 foot-pounds of energy. 
That's definitely a little hotter than the average 8 millimeter load. I would not recommend recreating that unless you know your rifle is safe to do so. Alright, so that's Caldwell Chronograph. Definitely works great for my experience. I think I actually prefer it over the F1 Crony now. The main reason is that it's cheaper, but I think even if they costed the exact same and I had to pick one of them, I think I'll still go with the Caldwell now. So I'm very satisfied. Definitely a great chronograph. If you guys need one, I recommend the Caldwell. But anyways, that's all for now. And as always, thanks for watching.